Hello, and welcome to Fiorite, where we will be playing as the Ottoman Empire, with our goals of being trying to uh, reinstate our old borders from before uh, World War I. So, uh, what we're going to start off with is we are going to go straight and do trying to uh, reduce the best economy that we can. And we're also going to go for as many civilian factories as we can. That's, that's probably enough, actually. We'll put all these guys into guns, and we'll start producing a convoy, because we only have 20 for right now. And we're going to go ahead and press play. Uh, we'll go through this. Uh, we'll do only the important events. I'm not going to be reading through most of these because they're really time-consuming. Uh, basically for this, the uh, important thing is we lost the Great War, and what's happened is we've had our entire empire obviously carved up. Uh, we now have the Sultan in power, but it is under the uh, Freedom and Entente Party. They have the real power. We tried to overthrow them and uh, return to our old glory through Mustafa Kemal Pasa, I think that's how it's pronounced, but that was put down through the Ingo and Greek intervention. And right now we're not in a very good place. Um, probably actually should go ahead and get a troop being produced. So that way we'll have something, because we can't really expand here, we'll just real quick show our situation. Uh, in Greece, so well, I guess the Hellenic Republic guaranteed by the United Kingdom. Uh, down here, Italy, part of the Continental Entente. Down here, also part of the Continental Entente or Imperial, uh, sorry, the Imperial Protection Alliance. The only really safe place to expand to is in the East. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to do that. But, for our tree, we're going to be going emergency sessions, consolidation of power, and taking matters into our own land, and also applying to join the Stall Pact in order to regain our old lands. Assassination of the Sultan. Basically, a Ottoman revolutionary has assassinated the Sultan, uh, and everyone is trying to get stuff back. Uh, right now, the House of Osman, as well as the uh, Freedom and Entente Party, wants to keep the uh, Ottoman Empire together while other political groups are trying to form basically Turkey. Also, we're also going to go ahead and start exercising our troops. We actually have a uh, really good field marshal, but we're about to lose him because he's going to become the leader of our country. The emergency session's done, we'll go ahead, press play, Ooh, Afghanistan and United Kingdom is in peace. The General uh, Assembly, do we want to go into being basically Turkey or stay the Ottoman Empire? And we're going to stay as the Ottoman Empire. We'll go consolidation of power. Now with that done, we now have uh, two choices. We can either go with uh, Amid, who is a more liberal reformist, or we can go with Osaman, which is a revanchist. He's going to try to regain our old borders, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're going to put the paternal autocrats in power. And with that, we're about to get another event. Out of your own hands. So here's where stuff can get interesting. We can't go down here until we have a global crash. The military, we can get like German assistance and stuff. I don't want to worry about the Navy or the Air Force too much right now. But we're going to go right into getting from peacetime demobilization to early mobilization. So that way we can have at least some stuff producing, uh, building stuff. Standing firm. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm, 
now with our political power, there's a bunch of stuff we can do. We can start building stuff straight through there. Nationalized foreign investments, but I don't really want to do that. I want to go ahead and get our party to be slightly more popular. As soon as that's done, we're going to go to here for the uh, research slot. There is one here, let's see, uh, I think it's this guy. No. Oh, here we go. 100% encryption. So that will help us hide from the enemy, basically. Economic mobilization done. And we're going to go mandatory conscription, so that way we can have more troops, but more importantly, of course, the research slot. Because if we look here, 15% consumer goods, that's actually why we can't produce anything. Really, why well, we only have four civilian factories. And we have... We had a, another battle. Now we have the Royal Pontius Empire, which gives us stability, which we obviously need. But here's a really bad one. 20% political power gain, minus 2% organization, minus 5% stability, and the real bad one, minus 10% research speed. So that's really going to be holding us back from basically everyone around us. It's also a weird thing. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but I actually did two quote-unquote test playthroughs. What really happened was the uh, first one I had forgot to hit record. The second one I had my mic muted through half of it. Oops. But both times when I tried to uh, joining, join the stall path, they're like, oh yeah, you're friends. You're friends, you're cool. But then they wouldn't let me actually uh, join the saw pact. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's something that happens later on. But unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to count on Germany to help us. Once this research slot is done, we're going to obviously throw that into uh, helping make our economy Let's go with this first industry. Negative political power is not fun, but it is necessary. The early mobilization is pretty good right now. I would like to get up to 40% war score. Let's see, what can I do? Is there an event for that? Civil crackdown? Nope, that's stability. No, we would need to be at war. So we need to find some other way to get our, our support up. Educate the masses, done. We'll be dealing with the bureaucracy. Go ahead and get ability to build synthetic oil. Because the goal is to have some tanks and an air force eventually. Whenever we remilitarize re uh, Istanbul, we do have to worry about potentially going to war with the Hellenic Republic. Which is not good, because they have more troops than us, so we would have to... Uh, win that through good positioning of our troops because our current troop setup is not exactly optimal. Just take a quick look at our Air Force 61 versus their zero. Okay, we would have air superiority. So there is that. Construction done. We'll get resource gain efficiency because we don't have very good surpluses of really anything except chromium because uh, and we, and we can't trade anything because of the really bad uh, Ottoman Public Debt Administration. Not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, as soon as we get this critical power game going right for it, because... Well, not only do we want to get more encryption, we also want to be able to spend a lot of political power on free... Uh, civilian factories and free military factories. 
and also stuff like Civil Crackdown. Do you want to go ahead and go for that stability? Let's see how is stability currently affecting stuff. 2% consumer goods. Decent amount of factory output we're losing, I guess. You know what, we'll go for it, we'll go for it. The losing the political power gain. And, uh... Like, it's temporary consumer goods will not be fun, but... Long term, it will be good for us. I feel like it should increase uh, uh, more support too, but you know. Good news is our political. Sorry, not political power. Our free manpower is going up as a result of conscription, so that's good. Get that done. Now we can rewrite the constitution. Let's see, I think we can get some more political power from rewriting the constitution. We'll let this go up, and then we'll silence the opposition, and then we can move towards. Whoa, the Indian revolt straight up annex. Okay. By constricting political power, that's, that's good. Okay, so we're going to be getting some more popularity for us. Need our surrender. Probably actually go straight for. Let's see. Wait. Huh. We'll probably solidify the power of the Sultan, then silence the opposition. I'm on this. Those, it's not fun needing to train while also needing to get more guns. That really slows us down. Ooh. It is 5%, which isn't, isn't bad at all. Plus we're losing construction speed. Okay, we got the constitution. The power of the Sultan. Economic downturn, done. Economic affairs. New constitution, political power gain, stability. I'm on this. Let's see, um. Socialist rise, that sucks. Let's go with division attack. Very good, very good. The power of the Sultan. Maybe I won't silence the opposition yet, because I do need to come over here to industrial development and subsi subsidization of industry. There's a lot of stuff I need to get done early on. That's actually probably exactly what I'm going to do. So we'll do industrial development and subsidization of industry. Here, we'll use that to go into partial mode. Now we can work on building up political power while we're doing these other two. Actually, we'll go here, then we'll go nationalization of railways. Then we'll go for silence the opposition. First industry done. Marcus France done. Sorry, Spain, not France. Then this first industry done. I'm glad we got those done before we got the industry bonus. Cause the industry bonus can be used on something else. I'm in a constitution more still Ooh, Brazil. We don't really care. Got him in, so put more political power gain, more stability. We should have plenty of political power gain. I don't see political power being a problem really at all during the series. At least I hope it's not, because if there is, something went horribly wrong. Right, even more industry.
And Solyndia has risen. Interesting. Ooh, them being not being uh oh, I don't like the way those colors match up. Kinda gross. It's good to see Sukarno back. It's very cool to see Sukarno back. No idea if he's gonna win. Excavation done. Do I want to use fifty percent on this? How long until these are done? A oh, while. Wow. You know what? We'll go ahead and go with this, and we'll save our fifty percent for something that's actually good. Molotov the new premiere. I don't know exactly uh Premier Molotov, kill the opposition. Personality cult, hold your hands, fish and all families. Interesting. Alright, now we're gonna go for nationalization. Infrastructure is kinda nice, but the uh, real important thing there is losing the 5% um, consumer goods. So right now we are sitting at not a lot. We only have seven. Seven producing, and we are losing six from consumer goods. I'm actually going to go ahead and take the time to stop, set you guys up here, because it's going to be soon time for us to uh, go down our foreign policy tree and remilitize Istanbul. It's only 35, 35, and 35. Nationalization of railways done. Silence the opposition. Oh, we can gain a lot of stability. Huh. I wonder, sorry if you can hear that phone ringing, but I, here we'll go mobile warfare. But I wonder, is there a way, way to do economic, I shouldn't have spent that, I'm so dumb, I wasn't thinking straight, okay, too late now, economic demobilization, could I do that when I have a chance? Take down. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I removed the military factories. Wait, wait, wait. I remove the military factories, add civilian factories. They embargo us. Screw you guys. Well, that's not fun. But, um... How hard is it? If I, if I go on peacetime, is it hard to get out of? Or does it just require spending political power? Because if we have a bunch of political power saved up... To share a control... Would it be a bad idea to do economic demobilization, get a bunch of civilian factories, then switch back to the back up to partial mob to get your civilian factories back, 
build even more stuff, and then convert them over to military factories. Not sure. This seems like it could be useful. So I have no idea what judicial control does, but I'm hoping it was worth losing all that political power. I feel like it's probably going to give me more stability and more uh, uh, political power gain. Royal Vizier. Power's been consolidated. So we gain political power, gain, lose stability, certain amount of time, and lose base stability. Oh, great. Okay. Let's get reinforced it, I guess. way ahead of time, but we'll go for it for the 50% and then improve machine tools. King Edward ends constitutionalism. Yet you're going to embargo us for nationalizing our railroads. <sighs> That's frustrating. My stability might just be completely dead. Unless these guys give me stability. But I don't think it will. Vizier will go foreign policy for now. Oh! Okay, that's just all positive stuff. Okay. Let's see, is there an easy way to get... I'll try to join the stall pack after this. Which, as uh, happened the last two times, they've been like, yeah, sure, you can join, but not really. I wonder if the Soviets are probably going to be a, an enemy to mine, if I had a guess. Dressler, I hope Dressler does... Uh, ...as well. We're gonna need them. Even if we can't join their faction directly, what we might be able to do is after waiting for them to join a war against someone, then we declare our war. Kind of timing it. Cool. Factory output back up. Construction speed. Then after that, what we need is some more military factories. Even though the stuff is moving very slow. What I want to do is stall pack, re-monetize Istanbul, and demand uh, Trabzon. And once that's done, then we come back here and we work towards economic prosperity. Which is doing everything, which will take a while. But I really want to get the... Uh, actually, actually, we might... If it doesn't work out, we might go straight off to a uh, plebiscite for Armenia, but we'll see. Join the stall pack. And we'll bring all ties to Istanbul. They agree, and... 
So that's not what I'm going to right click on around. Yeah, still no faction. Fun. Um, what do we want to go ahead and go for? Fuel gain from oil refineries, no thanks. Let's gonna get the next level fighter. Okay, we can make one extra one in the build-up to this. I would prefer if our neighbors just let us do it, but who knows. Mobile warfare done, radio done, go for more organization, and we'll go for more resource efficiency. Plus air support and air superiority. Military staff. Do I want? Division attack? Straight up division attack? That sounds nice. So we did it. I don't know if this means you can let it happen, or are they going to declare war on me? Let's see. I remember there's a bit of a delayed reaction. If this gets halfway done, I'm moving my troops away from the border. Watch, I'm gonna be my trips away from the board and they're gonna declare war on me. But let's get you guys over here. Bro, I thought I was, was about to be so mad. Let's see, um. Oh, that's not ours. Oh my gosh, we literally can't even reach into there. Okay. That's civilian, uh... Civilian factories and a few military factories will be very useful in the coming war. We're going to go right into, uh, let's get more resource. I have no idea how well they're prepared for this war. That's not where we're going to go, that's mountain. The safest place would be there. Oh, I accidentally pressed something. Okay, infantry attack. I guess that's fine. We can tra change it later. Resource exploitation. Central bank for consumer it. goods. Come on. We actually technically 
just ran out of time, but let's see if we can't finish this war off first. this pressure up. Not force attack. No longer get the effects from the judicial control. Offensive doctrine. Organization first. Full reinforce rate. Come on guys. Cultural methods. Come on, guys. Right. You guys all collapse on there. Excavation done. These guys aren't really ahead of time anymore, so. They'll have absolutely no supply. Oh wait, no. Ports in this one. It's fine. No matter which way we put it, we have a very sizable portion of their army here. There you guys go. Reinforce just to make sure we hold. Hurricane is done. Resource. So fighter. Less supply consumption is good. More resource. Chief of Air Force, what do we want? Your support superiority attack. Oh wait, we don't even have maximum. What? There we go. That'll kill him. More military factories. Put everything on convoys for the time being. Austerity programs next. Okay, we'll have you guys just attack to try to hold them together. a hole here the entire time. Right. I don't know why this guy is not protecting his capital, but okay. Security program done. Power's not fun. Let's get trade with Germany, see how that works out. Yeah. 
Construction done. Space industry. Industry. Fort this unfortunately this mountain. It's not fun to fight in. Come on, guys, reorg. Alright. Occupation of Armenia. I wanted them for factories. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We only give part of it to Armenia. We get the important parts. All right, so that was, uh, that's okay. That's okay, that's acceptable. We have 10, 10 civilian factories working. All right, um, that's it for this episode. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.